Good evening, everybody. This is Frankie here with an update on what's going on here with the debt limit ceiling bill. Um, Biden McCarthy just had a meeting, um, just wrapped up, in fact, and uh, it looks like there's been some progress. Um, so I want to take you to some news on that. Um, we're getting very close to June 1st, which is called the X date. And that's when the government runs out of funds and could default for the first time ever here if something is not done here quickly. We have we only have 10 days left. Um, 10 days. Uh, if something's not passed, um, uh, Social Security checks won't go out. They'll be delayed. There'll be a lot of other negative effects to the economy that could be catastrophic if the government ends up defaulting. Um, so June 1st is that date. They have to pass something by then through the House and the Senate, um, or we will default on our debt. So uh, here's that the latest information on this. We do begin with the meeting early this evening at the White House. It is just wrapped up amid this political battle over raising the debt ceiling. The U.S. set to default in a little more than a week. President Biden and Speaker Kevin McCarthy face to face at the White House. The president and the House Speaker, this is the start of their meeting in the Oval Office just a short time ago. And as you well know at home, the U.S. Treasury set to run out of money to pay America's bills. If the two sides don't come to an agreement, not only in that room, but then Speaker McCarthy must get any agreement back through the House in Congress, which, of course, is no easy feat. So the clock is ticking here with both sides aware of the potential consequences. ABC's chief White House correspondent Mary Bruce with late reporting. She leads us off tonight from the White House. After meeting with the president for over an hour in the Oval Office, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy declaring there is still no deal to raise the debt limit. But he is sounding more optimistic. I think the tone tonight was better than any other time we've had discussions. We still will have some philosophical differences, but I felt it was productive in that manner. Their teams have been negotiating on Capitol Hill for days, walking out of those meetings with little to show for it. I think we may be able to get where we have to go. Republicans refuse to raise the debt ceiling to pay the nation's bills unless the president agrees to steep spending cuts. They also want to speed up the approval of oil and gas projects and want new work requirements for federal anti-poverty programs. Democrats, since they took the majority, has been addicted to spending and that's going to stop. Biden has agreed to some spending cuts, but wants Republicans to raise taxes on wealthiest Americans and corporations. It's time for Republicans to accept that there is no bipartisan deal to be made solely, solely on their partisan terms. The Treasury Secretary is stressing there is no time to waste. In a letter to Congress today, Janet Yellen warning the U.S. government will run out of money to pay its bills as soon as June 1st. Mary Bruce live at the White House tonight. Mary, you and I have been talking about this several nights now. It's not just 10 days to go until that deadline. That's why they're meeting here. But then Speaker McCarthy's got to get this back through Congress, back through the House. So back time here and how much time do they really have left? Well, David, once a deal is struck between the president and the House Speaker, they then have to sell this to their members up on the Hill. It is then likely to take several days to pass through both chambers. So on the calendar, there may be 10 days left. In reality, they have just a few days here to finalize a deal. And if they don't, if the U.S. defaults, of course, it could spark a global recession and lead to the loss of millions of jobs, David. Okay, Mary Bruce tonight, breaking through it as always. Mary, thank you.